what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys this is a a super freaking powerful it's a game changing um time that we're freaking in right now man every single one of us has the ability to sell something online whether it's digital in the form of of a training course a video course a coaching program um whether you're 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 in the client services business where you're a real estate agent looking to, to capture clients looking to capture leads build you know relationships uh, you know get get people as clients right insurance whatever man whatever type of small business you're you're, you're involved in and building I truly believe a side income and multiple streams of income, especially when you're a solo solopreneur, especially when you're just starting out, especially when it's just you, you're a real estate agent. It's just you. You're an insurance agent. It's just you. Yes, you have a team. Yes, you have other colleagues. Yes, you have a broker and a freaking boss. Yes, but it's kind of just you, right? You're, you're 1099. Your, your sales, any any one of you guys that are in sales, man, any one of you guys that are in sales, if you have a, a traditional W-2 or even a 1099 and you're, you're full-time, you go hard every day at sales, I still truly believe that that a side income, and it doesn't even have to be that much, it doesn't even have to be that much at all, a few extra hundred a month for most people, especially in the U.S., this is a statistical fact in the U.S. alone, an extra $500 a month would change 97% of Americans' lives financially, an extra 500 a month. If you just had this extra passive income of, 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 of 500, of a few hundred a month, it would change most people's lives. That's in America alone. America alone. Choking on my own damn words over here. I can only imagine in other countries, what would an extra 500 a month do, do, do to someone or do, do for someone that lives in the Philippines? or an extra 500 a month of someone that lives in freaking Costa Rica, right? Like what would an extra 500 a month do for most people? A lot, dude. And that's what I'm saying. No matter what you do, whatever type of business you're building, whatever type of sales uh, uh, career that you're in, whatever that niche is, go find other products that you can get fired up about digitally that you can offer people. If you're building an email list, you have clients, you have customers that are coming into your business. These are people that should be obviously in, in a CRM, right? These are people that are on an email list. I hope most of you small business owners aren't even building an email list. You're not even, if I had you pull up every email of your customers, let's say you're a local plumber, you're a local, um, um, even a chiropractor, a local dentist, a local restaurant, a local restaurant. It's like, dude, how many people have came through your doors locally that live in that area that are freaking die hard? They're always at that at your restaurant. You have a little mom and pop shop. You have a little Mexican joint, right? You have a little freaking, you know, Persian food, little freaking small business, man. We have them all in our neighborhoods, right? Um, that small business owner, it's like, dude, are you building an email list? Like what other opportunities do you have to bring in revenue? Because, because damn... I mean, God knows that if you're a solopreneur or if you're just starting out or if you're an aspiring online marketer, which is a lot of people that are following me on this channel, you know, are either you're a real estate agent, either you're an insurance agent, either you're an online marketer. And again, looking to build something on the internet, right? I truly believe once you have that solidified and once you know exactly what your, your, your job is or your objective throughout the day, you're on social media. Okay, cool. For what? just to see what your cousins are up to. Yeah, right. If you're a business owner, you're on social media to build your business. So what is that business, right? Once you solidify that and you have your, your, your full-time you know, business, start looking for products and services in that same niche that can bring value in the form of digital, maybe a digital coaching program or a digital course, right? Like let's say for example, all the people that follow me are, are into entrepreneurship. I can easily go get an affiliate offer from, let's say, a Tony Robbins or a Russell Brunson or a freaking any of these major, major, major gurus. I can go get an affiliate offer link, send that offer to an email list, for example, and get them to buy. Now, that's not something you'd be doing all the time, but I'm just saying, whatever you're doing, I truly believe you can do more. I truly believe you should be doing more. I truly believe that an extra few hundred a month that was coming in residually, randomly on the side... I know for a fact that would change most people's lives, even if you're building a business, especially if you're building a business, especially if you're building a business. You know how many business owners I speak to, man, since 2016 alone, building an agency, servicing clients, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, got hundreds of clients. I've gotten hundreds of clients all through the DM, 
since 2016. This is what I do day in the life full time, right? But, but, but with that being said, it's like, dude, you know how many of them cannot afford marketing? The small business owner, don't get it twisted. If they do have cash flow coming in daily, let's say they're a restaurant. Most restaurants are some, not even all, dude. So many restaurants don't do good at all, but the few that do, they have constant traffic, right? You're a local restaurant. You got a, you're in a busy town. Everybody knows you, right? You've been there forever, right? You got this credibility. A lot of small business, the local dry cleaner probably been there for 27 years, right? The local ice cream place probably been there for 13 years, right? Like these little random, especially if you're in a city, if you're in somewhat of a city in my country, in the US, for example, I'm out here in San Diego. There's, there's mom and pop shops everywhere I walk, right? This is nothing new, but these are the people that, 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 that struggle financially. So don't get it twisted, right? Not all of them have a budget. If they're a restaurant or something like that, where they have daily cash flow, people are coming in, money is being spent daily. And that's, that's one thing, but most businesses don't have that. Most businesses don't have daily cash flow. So that's what I'm saying. I've spoken to, to at this point since 2016 on this exact topic alone, I've spoken to thousands of small business owners, specifically real estate agents. They don't all have the biggest budget, right? And so that's what I'm saying. Diversification, multiple streams of income, finding different products, different services, different coaches within that niche that services your client or services your ideal customer or, or business partner. Find different products and services, coaches, people within that niche where you can simply refer and make some type of commission. Like, like you real estate agents, imagine if Tom Ferry, one of the biggest coaches in the industry, right? Imagine if he had this event coming up, you know, at the end of the year and he provided an, aff an affiliate link to all of his, all of his students, all of his clients, all of his members, his entire circle of influence. Imagine if he sent out one email and said, Hey guys, I got this event coming up this weekend. By the way, here's a, a, your own custom affiliate link for anyone you share this link with that registers for our event coming up, you're going to make 45%. You're going to make 60%. You're going to make 50%. Um, that right there would be an affiliate offer, right? That, that, that would make sense. If you're a real estate agent and you got other people that are into that type of stuff, you grabbing an affiliate link, sending it to your, your circle of influence. And if someone purchases a ticket, you make a few hundred, possibly a few thousand for that month. Like, how's that not game changing, right? So it's like, dude, here's, here's what I've been able to do in the past, let's just say year, um, about, about the last year, about the last year, I would say. Um, and that all came down to the affiliate marketing approach that I took, which was chasing the residual income. These are the most popular affiliate platforms, right? ClickBank, and all of them are free to join. You shouldn't have to pay to join an affiliate you know, network um, at all. ClickBank is one of the most popular. Amazon is another super popular one. Amazon Associates, uh, ShareASell, all kinds of different products, man, where you can set up an affiliate account. You can, you can look for that niche and you can go get all these different random products. You get your own custom link and you can start sharing that link, right? But I'm telling you, Find something you're passionate about. Jump into a niche that you're currently in. That's when it makes sense to be able to offer some, you know, with a click, with a click of one email, I can email, you know, freaking my list because I know they're a type of person. I can email them a Tony Robbins event coming up. And if they purchase a ticket to go to Tony Robbins, it's 1500 I make 50%. Like big deal commissions like that where it fits your niche is what makes the most sense. If you don't have a niche like that, find a niche that you're passionate about. Find a niche that you're fired up about. Jump into a niche that you can, you can get excited about and you won't want to go to sleep until you freaking made some sales type of, type of niche, right? You have to be fired up about it, man. Share sells another popular one. JBZoo is another popular one. But these are all platforms where you can come in, set up a free account, search for a certain niche, grab an affiliate link and start sharing it. But what you want to do, man, after me personally studying for the last couple of years, how affiliate marketers really, really do it online. Um, what, I've, what I've found is majority of them are building a YouTube channel, right? Majority of them are building a YouTube channel. Um, they're taking that passion, and that's what I'm saying. Find, a, find offers, find links in these different websites, in niches, and, 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 and that have offers of stuff you can, get, you can get fired up about. Because that's who I'm seeing really wins. 
when you can get fired up about a product or an industry or a niche, I would keep it broad, right? And within that niche, you're finding different products. You're a real estate agent, talk about real estate. Um, and, and that, to tell you the truth, that's the only thing you're really shooting for. But, but, um, but let's say, for example, you're, um, you're, um, yeah, let's say you're a real estate agent and you have a network of other realtors and you stay in tune and you stay up to date with different motivational, different coaching, different seminars, different social media marketing events, different things that are going on within your industry, you stay, you stay up on, right? And so these, that's what I'm saying. Because that's in your niche and what you do daily, there's different offers. Imagine if a Tony Robbins or a Tom Ferry said, hey, man, we have an event coming up. Here's your affiliate link. For anyone that registers under your link, you make 60%. And they're, and they're purchasing event tickets for 1500, right? That's what this is all about. But again, if it's not always going to be an event like that, you want to jump into an industry where you're finding different products that you can come over here on YouTube and talk about. That's what I'm trying to say. So after studying, studying and analyzing a handful of successful affiliate marketers, um, it don't matter the niche, but then again, there are more, you know, in demand niches than others, right? Online marketing, huge, huge niche. Social media marketing, huge, huge niche. But then again, everything is a niche, man. You can find whatever the hell you're interested in, whatever you're fired up about, and you can go find that niche. Like log into ClickBank, find that niche. Click, come into Amazon Associates, type in that product, find those, those products. Share, sell, same thing, right? These different platforms. But here's, here's what, again, most people are doing. They're taking whatever the niche consists of, whatever the niche is, the main topic, and they're talking about it, man. They're either starting podcasts or they're starting YouTube channels. That, that's it, like either a YouTube channel or a freaking podcast, or if you're servicing nationwide and globally even, then, then maybe posting all over social media all the time, it's, it's worth it. But running Facebook ads or just trying to build something organically, it starts with freaking with YouTube. It starts with YouTube. It starts with, um, 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 I would start there. That's where, that's where I would start. And that's all I did with this, man. In December of 2019, just a few months ago, is when I started dropping a video every day talking about what I'm talking about, right? That's when the YouTuber, that's when the, the, the subscriber count started growing. And that's when I started getting these, these, these monthly deposits. So what I would do, when you look at, when you, when you, and I'll show you, when you look at these other platforms, the only thing that I don't do is I don't promote them. And the reason for it is because they're all, they're all cool products. A lot of them are digital products coaching programs, things of that nature. Again, pick the niche, find the niche, right? And you can find different services within that niche. But whatever it is, these are all one time. Nine out of 10 of them are one time commissions, right? Um, a product, someone clicks on your link, they go to Amazon, they buy, they buy you know, some shampoo, they buy you know, a freaking bag, they buy a shirt, whatever. You make that commission, right? But the only thing about these major, major platforms and, and the way majority of affiliate marketers do it is they, they, they'll find these products, they'll find that niche, they'll either go build a freaking personal brand or a YouTube channel or a podcast around it. And that's where a ton of traffic ends up coming from. Because when you look at their YouTube videos, every link in the description is an affiliate offer. If you're on their podcast, they're probably promoting something else that they're tied to through an affiliate offer. It's all about those affiliate commissions, but making sure it makes sense to, to the audience that you're bringing value to, right? But again, the reason why I'm not over here on, on the majority of these other platforms is because they're one they're one off commissions, right? They're one off commissions. And, 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 and I'm not really after the one time small commission, because again, another thing is, is that the majority of the commissions are small, unless you're selling someone's course for 1500 and you're making 60% or 40% or 50% or even 25% of a $1,500 digital product that you found on freaking ClickBank, right? That's, I mean, that's a one time commission and that, that, that that's not that easy. You better be building a personal brand. You build, better be building a YouTube channel, a podcast, or you, you better be running Facebook ads. What most beginners freaking fail to realize is that you can't just come over here, set up an account, get your freaking share link, get your affiliate link and go blast it on social media. No one's buying, bro. Like I hate to break it to you. You're not going to come over here to ClickBank, get a link, come over here to Amazon, get a freaking link for some headphones come over here and find a freaking link for this makeup. Like you're not going to just grab that link and share it on social media. You can't, that's what I'm saying, dude. The whole point of this video is to show you what I've been able to do and, and pretty much the options. 
when it comes to affiliate marketing, most people are building a YouTube channel. Most people are building a podcast and, 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 or they're building a huge brand personal brand. They're an influencer on Instagram and they have 500,000 followers or they're on TikTok with freaking 72,000 followers. You know what I mean? Um, but if, if you're not even close to that, you're either running paid traffic or you're simply building it, you know, organically what I've been able to do. So for the past few months, I've been putting up a video every day talking about Kartra. Okay. Talking about Kartra doing tutorials. That's what my YouTube channel consists of, but it's, but it, but I keep it general where this applies to any small business owner. I talk about social media marketing. I talk about lead capture and, and, and funnels and landing pages and online, you know, activity, online transactions, online lead capture, online schedule appointments, online email automation, right? That's what I talk, I talk about. And, and, and majority of these freaking videos, man, on this YouTube channel consist of, um, consist of, of, um, me talking about this. And because I talk about, this, which again, this is, is my, um, um, preference, right? Affiliate marketing to me. Yes. I can come to all these other random freaking sites, man, and make these one time little ass commissions, or I can actually, you know, again, you got to be fired up about it. Not everybody's going to be fired up about Kartra or fired up about freaking landing pages. Right. So you got to be fired up about whatever, but at the same time, it's easy for me because I use it. Like I'm a product of the product. I actually use Kartra. I, I know the importance of it when building an online business and even building any business. If you're an offline business, you're an, you're an offline gym, you're a trainer, you're a yoga studio, you're offline, you're an offline freaking dry cleaner, you're an offline restaurant. If you're trying to do anything online, dude, I don't care if it's a social media or freaking anything on the internet. I don't care. If you're trying to bring your business to the internet, landing pages, email automation, the calendar, the ability for you to get to have people schedule appointments, that alone, dude, is freaking worth getting fired up about because that's something I need. Regardless of this income starting to build, I need the system for what I'm trying to do, right? Sell stuff online. That's, that's why I get fired up about basic, basic offers and services and affiliate offers that are willing to pay me monthly for something of value. I find major, major value in Kartra. Without this, I'd have to manage multiple softwares to build an online business. I do it all through this and I've been doing it all through this since 2018. Um, and, and so it wasn't until about 2019 when I started getting fired up about it, fired up about it and started doing more tutorials on it. People found my videos, people started activating their accounts. And now that's where this monthly income is at. Now, can you imagine if it just keeps increasing from this day forward? And, and all that is dude is 26 people, man. I got 26 people. So as you're chasing every freaking Tom, Dick and Harry to buy your ClickBank shit, to buy your Amazon shit, to buy your share sales shit, to buy your JV zoo shit, and you're constantly, see, again, you can't, you can't be chasing. You can't just come over here and grab a link and share it on social media. It's not going to happen, dude. You're running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, or you're building a YouTube channel or a podcast. Bottom line, I just chose to build a YouTube channel around it. So if j just so I could monetize even further. And, and so it wasn't until a few months ago when I even started monetizing YouTube. But I started looking at this as a form of residual income like this. Th I'm like, dude, so you're telling me all I got to do is get fired up about something and go talk about it and freaking not only not only get paid to talk about it. Right. That's my residual income where it's at right now. July, you know, 2020. A residual income. Most of you guys would shit just for a one time income of that. That's going to be coming in every month. All because 26 customers are using the service like that's ridiculous. That's not even a lot of people. What, what, what's the numbers? What's the math when I get it to, to 50 people, right? Right now, 1,071. I mean, come on, dude, do the simple math. 1,071 divided by, um, divided by, divided by $40, right? Divided by $40. That's 26 people, dude. 26 people, 26 people, 26 times $40 is 1,040, right? So I have approximately 26 people that are using Kartra paying $99 a month for and getting all these freaking benefits. Again, if I, it, it's not even the fact that I'm getting paid. It's the fact that I need this for my business type of service, right? So I got 26 other entrepreneurs that see the benefit of having it for their business, right? We're not on some freaking get rich quick. It's not a network marketing deal. It's not an MLM. It's freaking none like that. It's simply referring. 
offering services that fit within my circle of influence, offering good services that actually help people. And because I'm referring it to them, I get paid on it, but I don't get paid one time. I get paid residually. That's powerful. So as long as that person succeeds with it, which is what I give my people. So that's why any of you guys, man, compare it, compare to what you're currently using. If you're on click funnels, okay, cool. Click the link below profit with online and compare it. There's a 14 day trial, compare it to what you're currently using. All these random softwares that you guys are using to have your, for your CRM, your landing pages, your email autoresponder, your calendar, all these random services that you guys are trying to juggle monthly, but you're going broke, right? I do it all through one. And again, all I've done on this YouTube channel, man, is freaking talked about it, right? So for the past few months, you know, July, we're not done with July yet, but June 499, May 582, April 695. These are monthly deposits from YouTube now, all because I'm at this point with my freaking um, um, subscriber count and I'm at this point with my video, you know, production. I'm just, I'm just dropping videos on this stuff, dude. But, but these are the top ones, man. You can find so many more as well. It's just, in my opinion, I don't want to chase because again, to be successful, either you're building, you're either you're building an email list, therefore you're running ads. It's the only way you're going to, you're going to build a list or you're building a YouTube channel. Like I am, that's where I get a ton of leads coming from is, is my YouTube channel alone, but you gotta be doing either or man. Again, you gotta be doing either, or you're not going to win by sharing your link on freaking your LinkedIn. Like that's not going to happen, dude. Build an email list, AKA run paid traffic. Um, or come over here and build a YouTube channel and talk about it, man. And talk about it, talk about it. And just whatever the heck you're talking about, all I'm saying is make sure you're talking about something that brings value to people and something that can pay you residually. That's the keyword of this video. Okay. So if anything, that's the keyword is residually. If you're going to put in all this upfront work, pay me in royalties, pay me forever. Right. And again, it doesn't even have to be that high, man. It doesn't have to be that high. You're telling me an extra thousand a month that came in for work you did four months ago. Like you're telling me that wouldn't change your life, right? And, and, and so that's what I do, man. Anyone that gets their 14 day trial, set it up, dude. Schedule a call with me. We'll jump on. We'll do a strategy session. I'll walk you through it. I'll, I'll compare it to what you're currently using. So if you're on ClickFunnels, dude, let's jump on. Set up a 14 day trial, um, jump on with me and let's just freaking compare it, dude. Price to price, service to service, what the hell we're getting with it. It's the same $99 a month. That's all I'm saying, man. Um, and and, and at, the, at the same time, because I've been talking about it, I got a few people on it. That's my affiliate commission. So that right there is powerful, you guys. Residual, that's residual. This YouTube is residual. And again, it's not a lot of money, dude. You, let's just look at a thousand over here. And then if I hit revenue over here, if I just go, let's just go, um, let's just go lifetime. Like let's, cause I haven't started, I've only, I only started getting paid on this YouTube channel um, a few months ago. So it was it's like, it's been like seven months, seven months. So seven months really is when my AdSense kicked in my Google AdWords or at Google AdSense when you can, when I hit a thousand subscribers. And then now you can start getting paid, but now I'm at 2,600. So shout out to every single one of you, man. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe, dude, Sub hit the bell for notifications, click like, drop me a comment. Um, I'm David out here in San Diego, building a social media agency, building an affiliate marketing business. That's what I'm saying, man. It doesn't take a whole lot of, ex a lot of money per month to change anyone's life, man. This right here, if I go lifetime on just a small channel, dude, shout out to every single one of you, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But share this, man. Share this video as well. Share this with any entrepreneur, anyone that's trying to make, make money online. Because again, no matter what you're trying to do, having a side income and being able to create some type of, of an affiliate passive income to, on, on talking about services that, that, already, that you're already currently using, that's, that's the magic. Not everyone's going to have it that way. But that's the magic. I just happen to be using Kartra. I just happen to happen to be fired up on Kartra, and and a, and a passive income, a monthly reoccurring income, beats any other income you can possibly try to show me right now. It's like that needs to be building in the background. That's like an insurance policy, man. You're telling me, look, dude, a thousand a month on that, and then over here, over here on YouTube, let's go. Um, where do I? Let's look at. Um, Let's look at revenue. Yeah, see, so July, we're still in the month of July, but June, look at that, man, 499, 582. This is all monthly, just little deposits, man, that started coming in, that really started coming in in, in, in November. November, December, 
and then January, February, and by February it was at 494, and then went to 568. Like this is this is income, dude. These are this is income from ads running in between my videos here, right? So if you want to support me, dude, watch a freaking damn ad. That's that's this income, right? So as we continue to to, to build a business, as we continue to build whatever you're doing, right? Find different products and services that can build you an extra income. Because if you're a real estate agent and you start putting that content out on YouTube, I'm telling you, in a few months they'll start paying you. And I don't care what it is, dude. A few hundred, a few extra hundred per month. If you're telling me the six ninety five, if that came into the family next month and 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 it came in every month, you're telling me that wouldn't change your life. All because I've been talking about my business for the past year and a half on YouTube, right? And because I've been talking about a product that actually fires me up and that I use and that I recommend to other businesses that are struggling, it's like, dude, if they're going to pay me on that too, perfect. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that. So it's like, dude, this thousand a month, this YouTube income, that right there, let's just call it an extra 1500 a month, an extra 1500 in passive positive cash flow from those two sources alone, right? That right there is game changing, you guys. So that's what I do on the affiliate marketing side, man. Um, I really just talk about this one software because again, it pays me residually and that's what I'm after is that passive income. Um, but those are the other popular ones. Um, just the commissions are obviously one time you're promoting a dress, you're promoting some makeup, you're promoting freaking any random hat on Amazon, right? You're promoting these different digital services, different digital products on ClickBank. Awesome, awesome services, awesome programs, awesome everything. But a lot of them are one time. A lot of them are small commissions. Amazon, super tiny commissions. But there's a lot of benefits to it too, man. So you got to look into it. Um, whatever it is, again, man, in my opinion, talk about it on YouTube and build something around a service that will pay you residually, right? So that's kind of my two cents, you guys. I will see you on the next video. Over now.